Hello everyone and welcome back again to yet another MLB Perfecting Live Battle Gameplay. In today's video we will be playing an alternate account that I have against Ugh2460. I don't know why it's named that way, but well you never know. So um without further ado, let's get into it. So here we go, he has Jake Odorizzi on the mound. So let's look over his lineup. He has his creative player, then Ian Kinsler, Evan Longoria, Brian McCann, Nicholas Castellanos. Okay, I didn't see the whole team. Either way, this is we have a nice team ourselves, all Mets. We have Noah Syndergaard on the mound. We're going to start him off with a sinker low and outside to check out his eye. Takes the pitch for a ball. Now we're going to throw the same pitch, just this time for a strike. Sinker low and outside. Up the middle. And it will be a leadoff single. So this guy has a very, very good eye. Apparently. So he sinker low and inside now. Takes it for a ball. Fastball low. Strike one. Finally, we get our first strike off of him. Now we slide our high and inside. Line into right. That wasn't even a strike, and he hit it. I don't believe he did that. That's, that's, this is some very impressive hitting by our opponent. Change up outside now. Takes the pitch for a ball. Change up a little bit less outside now. Takes it for a ball. Now another change up this time for a strike, though, because we really need it. Strike one. Now, this seemingly the same pitch, except another. once again, it's outside. And he popped it up. So, out number one, and we have runners on first and second. Not a good start. A sinker low and outside. Takes the pitch for a ball. A slider now, low and outside. And it's popped up into shallow right field for a flyout. Two outs, runners on first and second base. Uh, um, we'll call on um, Familia in the next inning, but currently we're going to keep Syndergaard. We're going to start him off with a slider outside. Takes it for a ball. Now we sinker starting outside and hopefully diving in for a strike. Grounded to first. He turns and makes the easy play. Let's go, guys. We get out of the first and second jam. Now David Wright and Daniel Murphy up now. First pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike one. We swung right through that one. Nubbed to the pitcher, Odorizzi makes the easy play. Now, Daniel Murphy up. Swing and a miss, strike one. Swing and a miss, strike two. So he's definitely a good pitcher, knows how to switch things up. Fouled off. And a good thing is we needed to be protecting that plate. Oof, and that ball was nowhere near the plate, uh, but we swung at it anyway. Now we need to bring in a substitute hitter. Let's bring in Jose Reyes. He's considering who to bring in. He brings in Giovanni Soto. Another plus 10 pitcher. He has very, very good pitchers, apparently. 
lined into right field on the very first pitch, and it will be caught by the right fielder to bring up the top of the eighth. We have Michael Matuk up now. We're going to start him off with this slider outside. Ball one. Now, a fastball high and inside, hopefully to change him up a little bit. Lined into right field for a single. Now, Jackson up next. We're going to start him off with a sinker low and, and down low and, yeah, just low. Takes it for a ball and he's now making a substitution. We're going to keep in Syndergaard, I think. We're going to start him off with a sinker starting nowhere near the plate but diving back in for a strike and he takes it. Now another sinker, also starting as a strike, and he lines it to shortstop for a lineout. Reyes makes that the easy play, and we have Trammell up now, a 119 overall player. Takes it for a ball, we need to be throwing around him as he has a very strong team. Sinker now. How did he hit that ball that was nowhere near the plate? I don't understand how he's doing these things. We have Soto up now. I want. I, let's see. Up oh, and he does substitute him with Carlos Gonzalez. A sinker low and outside takes it for a ball. Slider now low and inside takes it for another ball. And a fastball up high. Swing and a miss, strike one. Change up now, starting up high and falling in, seemingly. Takes it for a ball. Sinker high and inside now. Felled off. And now a slider down low. Struck him out in an important strikeout, that was. And he's going to keep in his... No, he's not. He's going to... Substitute as creative player. For Jose Reyes. Sinker low and outside. He's taken it all day. No reason for him to change. Now a fastball low and outside. Takes it for a strike. Now a change up starting low and outside and going downwards. Looped to, sh to second base, and he is out. So two consecutive innings we get out of first and second um, gens. We have Pete Alonso up now. Let's see who he's going to bring in, if he brings someone in. 125 overall today. And he seems to be considering his options. He brings in Tyler Duffy. A 111 overall pitcher. Swing and a miss, strike one. So we're going to take now, because it, we haven't taken any pitch yet, or almost any pitch. Takes it for a ball low. And we're going to, I think, probably swing at this pitch unless it's way outside. Swing and a miss, strike two. Lined into left center field for a single. Run on first. No man out. Finally, we get our first hit. Hopefully, they start coming. Takes it for a ball. We're going to attempt a steal here. And he expected it, but luckily we, we expected him to expect it. Swing and a miss, strike one. Ah, it's not letting me steal. Oh no, it didn't let me steal. Swing and a miss, strike two. Once again, it's just not letting me steal for some reason. Ground ball to the pitcher. It's going to be out at first base. So runner in second now with one man out. Bottom of the eighth. 
tied at zero. Swing and a miss, strike one. An ugly swing there. Looped to second base and he is out. So it comes down to Carlos Beltran, a 111 overall today. Takes the pitch for a strike. Line into right field and it will be caught by Castellanos. So for the ninth inning, as it looks like it's going to be ten innings, we're still going to be keeping in Noah Syndergaard, at least for the beginning. Fastball outside now. Takes it for a ball. My fastball again outside, but this time for a strike. Strike one. Sinker now starting outside and coming and diving back in. Hammers it into left field, but the, luckily Jones is there to make the play. Evan Longoria is up now. We're gonna start him off. Never mind, he's substituting. Miguel Cabrera is now up. We're gonna start him off with a fastball inside. Takes it for a ball. We give him the same pitch again inside because, well, he'd probably be expecting a strike. Nope. So now we're going to give him a strike. Swing and miss, strike one. And a complete change of scenery with a curveball low and outside. Fouled off. To give him a sinker starting high and inside and diving inside. Up the middle, Reyes blunders it, but he's still out at first. So Brian McCann up now. I would usually intentionally walk him, but as he still has very strong hitters next, I'm not going to do that. Sinker low and outside now, hopefully for a strike. Line to right field, and it will be caught by Granderson to bring up the bottom of the ninth. And I'm very happy that I kept Syndergaard in. We have Wilson Ramos up first. Better yet, we have Michael Conforto. Or, yeah, Todd Frey up first. Hope it substituted him. It did, and he brings in Mike Melanson, a 121 overall. That's the problem with these tournaments. Sometimes the pitchers can be a little bit unfair. But we line that one into right field for a single. And boy, do I wish I had Reyes to substitute him in now. Currently, we're going to need to substitute Syndergaard instead. And let's see if we have a runner faster than Frazier. Not by enough to justify switching him. He's playing forward. Take the pitch for a ball high. Swing and a miss, strike one. I wish I could steal here, but this catcher is not bad at all in Brian McCann. Line into right field, but it will be caught by Nick Castellanos. We've been hitting to him again and again today. Now David Wright may be our most powerful hitter. Other than Pete Alonso. Swing and a miss, strike one. We had that right on the orange zone, but we were late. Strike two. Fouled off. Line, and what a catch by Freddie Freeman. To bring up Daniel Murphy. Swing and a miss, strike one. Up the middle, and it will be played by Kinsler, 
means it's out at first base. So the top of the tenth now. And we have none other than Familia up now, pitching. I'm going to start him off with a slider, low and outside. Ball one. A sinker now, diving back in for a strike. Strike one. And another sinker, this time not uh, succeeding to cross the plate for a strike. Line to right, and it will be on the ground for a single. We have Michael Matuk up now. Slider for a strike. Now we fastball high and inside. Again for a strike. If he's smart, he will be stealing, as we do not have a catcher catching. Splitter up, and he is stealing. And he strikes out by a bunt. So now Curtis Granderson up. Check him check on him at first just to keep him honest. Now fastball low and outside. Line into left, and this time it will not be caught by Jones for nothing but a single, surprisingly. Even though it was off the wall. Now Trommel up now. Fastball fouled off. Fastball completely in the other place now. Takes it for a ball. Now a sinker going downwards. Up the middle. That's This could be two. There's one. There's two. A double play to get us out of another jam. We have Reyes. We have the very heart of our lineup up now. Except that he does, Reyes doesn't have a lot of power. But that will be a pop-up to Kinsler. We have Pete Alonso up now. Line and left, and that will be dropping for a single. The hope is to steal here, but, you know, actually, never mind, because he has a very good pitcher and a very good catcher. Now, Cleon Jones fouled off. Strike two. We're going to be stealing on this pitch. Changing my mind. Fouled off. We're going to be stealing on this pitch as well. Struck him out. Throw him out, it's a double play to end the game as a draw, but we will be playing another game because a win is, mu is, is a must in this position. So not a very interesting first four innings, but things are subject to change. Oops. So here we are back again. For innings, I guess, 12, 13, 14, and maybe 15. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Let's switch it up and play at Camden Yards. He has Garrett Cole on the mound. We know how hard Garrett Cole is to hit. I mean, we had a lot of trouble against him, I think, against Tribland 16. But, on the other hand, we have a 128 overall Jacob deGrom on the mound, so... We're going to start him off with a fastball low and outside. Strike one at 102 miles an hour. Now, two-seam fastball... Diving back inside. Fouled off. Curveball now, starting at a sim seemingly easy hit, and struck him out on three pitches. So already a better start to the game than it was in the last game. So a curveball starting right down the middle, looking so good to hit. But it's a strike in the very outside corner. 
Now two seamers strutting low and outside and diving back in. Blooped left field for a single. This guy is a very, very good hitter. He has shown that time and time again. We're going to start him off with a curveball low and outside, and it's getting lower and more outside. He takes that. Now two-seamer low and outside, inside. Again, he hit it. That was nowhere near the plate. I don't understand how he does this. We have Brian McCann up now. Fastball down low. Takes it for a ball. And we change up down and low again. Ground ball to second. There's no, he's safe at second and safe at first. Wow, what a mistake, apparently, even though it seemed like he was out at second and out at first. We're gonna start him off with a curveball low and outside. Ball one. And a curveball high and inside. And he's going to be out at safe at home. He uses my strategy and to bunt a runner home. We're gonna start him off with a slider low and outside. Popped up to third base. We're gonna just check on the runner on third just to make sure that he doesn't tempt that thing again. Now two seamer low and inside. Ball one. Fastball up high. Fouled off. And my slider diving back inside. Lined into left center field. It will be caught by Beltron. We have David Wright up now against Garrett Cole. Very scary good Garrett Cole at that. Swing and a miss, strike one. We need at least a run in order to, to, to tie the game. Swing and a miss, strike two. Struck him out. So it starts exactly as it started for him. Daniel Murphy up now. Line to second base and Tramel, the shortstop and Tramel is there to make the catch to bring up Jose Reyes. Not better yet to bring up actually is Drupal Cabrera. Jose Reyes is a very valuable pinch runner. Swing and a miss, strike one. He's just been crossing us up left and right these days. As has been every opponent we've faced. Struck him out. To bring up his side of the inning. So a 1-2-3 inning for him. And a fastball up and inside for Castellanos. Ball one. Fastball a little bit higher now. Line into right field, and it will be caught by Curtis Granderson. What a catch by Granderson to save the game. There was no way we would have been able to get two runs there. Two-seamer now low and outside. Ball one. Fastball now inside. And I know it's the pitcher, but... Well, He's shown he can hit a pitch that's nowhere near the plate, so he can definitely hit with a pitcher. Struck him out. Two seamer outside now, fouled off. Fastball high and inside. Ground ball to third, and he makes the easy play to end the 1-2-3 inning. Well, unlucky for him, we have Alonzo up first, so he may have called, but we have Alonzo. Cut away outside that we swing and miss on for some reason. 
take that pitch for a ball. Good thing too. Swing to miss, strike two. Struck him out. If he can strike at Alonzo like that, it is very it's worrying me what he can do with all my other players. We have Cleon Jones up now, and he will swing and a miss. Popped up on a hanging curveball. That made me nauseous, the fact that I couldn't hit that. Um, I think we'll just keep in Benerson. We don't have any better one. We have Tyler Duffy up now, pitching. Swing and a miss, strike one. Ground ball to third base. Can he make the play? Yes, he can. So once again, it will turn over to the top of the ninth. Fastball high and inside now. Strike one. And I accidentally threw him a fastball down the middle. I don't believe I just did that, but he fouled it off, luckily. Curveball now low and outside. Popped up, and Jones is there to make the catch. Now, Trammell. Two-seamer, inside. Blooped, and what a catch there by David Wright. Brian McCann. We're going to start him off with a slider, low and outside. Strike one. A slider starting as far as possible from the plate, coming in for a strike, and he hammers it into the right field, and that ball is gone. Santa Maria, Brian McCann with a home run. Two-seamer low and inside, and that's going to be another hit. We have Jackson up now. How is he hitting all of these? I just don't understand that. Actually, he didn't hit that one. Thank God. But the fact that he even made contact is just... just doesn't make sense. And of course, with our luck, the game crashes. I'll see you all back in the game. We come back, and it seems like we lost 2-0. to zero. Although, the last inning, sadly, we did not have anything to say about it. So that's going to be it for the video. Hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And without further ado, I'm out.